could never die As long as I have you near me Baby Hey, welcome back to our Tubid Reactions Unit. It's up, Corbin. And he falls on Instagram. Joe, juicy. Thank you for on Patreon and follow an official Twitter account. Hey, do I remind you of Molly Ringwald right now because I look pretty in pink? I don't like that movie. You wouldn't. It's incredibly rapey. Watch it again. You know what? It's been a long time since I've seen Pretty in Pink. It's incredibly rapey. It's bad. Well, they're talking about because this girl's passed out and this guy's telling him, it's like, dude, go get it. She won't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. That reminds me of the scene in, in, in uh, Animal House. It's uh, a different time, but also a very different rapey time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I, I saw it for the first time like over a year ago. And so that was the first experience. I haven't seen it since like it came out. I think out. most people have nostalgia feelings about it because they saw they it do. when they were kids. It falls into the whole category. You That comes into mind. You think 16 Candles and Breakfast Club because it's Molly Ringwald film. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's uh, funny. I've gone back and looked at films that I once loved that were from like the 1980s. And I've gone back and watched them, excited to watch them. And then I'm like... Oh, wow. Why did I like that? That's not appropriate. Okay. Nope. Anyway. Hi, everybody. That's not what this is about. Not at all. We don't know why we did that. We're direct to a stand-up. We're a Yes. Okay. Good. Same joke. It's called It's My Birthday. It's a comedian we have yet to uh, see. Great. His name is... Uh, say it. Sumit Anand. Uh, seven million views. So it should be pretty it's funny. It's my birthday. You know what? Watching the stand-up comedians, it's making me want to go... You know, I went... A couple of times out to the comedy store, and you failed miserably. No, they ugly. never. It was open mic, and they just never called my name. I sat there for hours, and nobody ever called my name to go up and do my thing because you're ugly. Here we go. Children content ahead. <laughs> That's different. Let me tell you more. I was actually born in Haryana because my dad, you know, did it there only. <laughs> What? Did it there only? Oh. <laughs> I missed that. I wasn't there, man. I would have stopped. <laughs> By the time I got to know too late. He was also born in Haryana because grandpa. <laughs> we are not Appaka Sindhu. I come from a long line of family who don't know where to do it. <laughs> He's doing in Haryana itself. And don't you know location is important? It took me 20 years to get out of Haryana. Yeah, emotionally. <laughs> Otherwise, you could take a bus. <laughs> <laughs> emotionally is the one who takes a while. <laughs> now people are like, you don't sound like Haryana. I'm like, I didn't talk to anyone. <laughs> no, for 20 years. Because I listened and nothing I heard was exciting enough for me to contribute. <laughs> but they are doing enough damage by themselves. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. Remain silent for 20 years. <laughs> I like his vibe. Well, I do too. Learned English quite late. Yeah, in college we used to have a pack with friends to always talk in English, so we never fought. <laughs> You cut down your vocab, the amount of friendship that you can form. <laughs> potential is unlimited. The guy standing there asking me, what did I do? And you're like, you fucking you. I know it in Hindi, man. <laughs> you are a bad person. <laughs> you forgiveness. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is the answer. I forgive you. Again. It's like I'm the Lai Lama out of language barrier. <laughs> Certain words in English I still can't use. I know the word, I know the meaning. That should be sufficient. I just didn't grow up like that. One of these words is flabbergasted. <laughs> People use it in front of me. I'm always like, Achy, kas kar di aapne <laughs> Dude, we were just talking. <laughs> you didn't have to bring all this up. Man, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Behind my back, have you been using the word rendezvous? What's going on? <laughs> And they use it for trivial stuff. They go like, dude, I went to the zoo and I was flabbergasted. I'm always like, how did you come back alive then? <laughs> What's going on at the zoo, bro? I've been
been to the zoo. I've never been that word. <laughs> Forget the zoo. I feel like my life has never been like this. That I thought, dude, I've never been like this. 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 My dad caught me masturbating when I was 12. I was simply surprised. <laughs> मैं <laughs> 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 That situation, my dad caught me masturbating. That was surprising. <laughs> Then my dad comes in and he starts masturbating. <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Then my mom on the side should be going. That is flabbergasting. <laughs> She didn't know that word either. We were all not rich. That's funny. Also, like my family is not rich and mom is rich on the side. <laughs> We were all together and cheating as in life and words. <laughs> Some people are confused. I've never masturbated with my dad. These are jokes. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the clarification. I stay home alone all day. I get these thoughts. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm a good person. I might be a good person. I give money to beggars. Anybody does that? What's that noise? <laughs> Or a no, just shouting. Woo! That's an answer to the universe. I give them. Anybody? Yeah. How much? Huh? Fifty? Ten or fifty? That's a nice bracket. What do you What do you look for in a beggar? That's a fifty-one man. You're not a threat, though. I give them hundred bucks. Yeah, it's not a selfless act. I need to see the look in their eyes. That's why I've been asking around. Is anybody giving more than hundred bucks? Recently, I haven't been getting the look. Don't raise the stakes, man. Give them hundred bucks. They can't even believe it. They start giving change back. Ninety bucks. <laughs> One time, I was in my cab. There was a kid next to the red light, and he was smiling. And I was like, "That's a cute smile." I smiled back. Then he started walking towards my car. Now, like, did he just trap me? <laughs> Fuck! When he was next to my window, going so, I'm like, so what? I use my, I use my, I smile back out of my love. You're converting this into capitalism now. <laughs> he just stood there. Hey, Bevko, with na mujhe pata hota hai, main apne din ki shuruaat red light se karta, hoping for a return smile from strangers. I will like make sense. Here is your hundred bucks. Here is another hundred. You just gave me stand-up material. I'll convert the second hundred into thousands. Won't give you any. I converted this into capitalism. That's how it works. I win and you lose. It's predefined. He still stood there silently. Look, take bro. समझ में तो नहीं आ रहा. But तू बोलता रहेगा तो पैसे आते नहीं हैं. मनी <laughs> <laughs> not that I needed the proof, <laughs> but I feel I, I don't think any girl is walking into a cab thinking definitely a five star. <laughs> Even if it does well, they'll still be like four star for future mistakes. <laughs> That's That's for true. fellow people woman, he's a man. He'll fuck her. They said no one's perfect, so they. I'm just guessing. I've never been a woman. <laughs> I can't trade the Uber driver. Oh, on the audience. I play around though. Sometimes I sit at home, book an Uber, and then take a call if I should move or not. 
I'm just checking if the world is ready for me. <laughs> the guy is like, I'm at the location. I'm like, can you go to the destination and see if it is worth it? <laughs> Just live my life on my behalf and report from my future. <laughs> One time I actually went to the location and I was sitting in my cab. There was a guy, pressure behind me, a bunch of taxi were just staring at me. Have you had that feeling while taking an Uber? Taxi were just like, nah man, don't do this. <laughs> like why? Why give money to the rich, give it to the poor? Now will I make sense? Great way of selling taxes. So I ignored him. <laughs> a lot of things make sense, you don't have to follow. You can just agree, it makes sense, do what you like. <laughs> like you should brush twice a day. Ah, uh -huh, you should. <laughs> brush twice a day. Fucking keep brush. <laughs> Sat in my Uber. Uber driver even let him know. I sit down even let him know. I'm like, dude, whatever happens from here, won't change the stars between us. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, I've said it. <laughs> gets me late, which is a huge feat, guys, because I have time. <laughs> I can even tell you, time is not money. I just have time. <laughs> <laughs> because in the way, I'm more either to choose time or money, and I thought, Mukesh Ambani ko main paise mein to nahi hara sakta. अभी मुकेश क्या कर रहा होगा? मंडे मॉर्निंग मीटिंग में बैठा होगा लूजर। I won। प्राइवेट प्लेन में भी होगा तो एक्सेल शीट्स पढ़ रहा होगा। Good, I am dancing naked in my own house। I won। मुकेश लॉस्ट। लूजर मुकेश। Wrote this joke just to say the last two words every night. Loser fucking okay. That's why he has a house which looks like a dick. He's insecure. He lost to me. In a competition he didn't even know about. I don't care. I want it in my own head. I'll write it on my grave too. First I'll have a grave. I don't believe in religion. I lived as a Hindu, die as a Christian. Man, who cares? I'll have a grave, I'll write, Mukesh Ambani lost to me. The other people visit the graveyard, they look at my grave, they'll be surprised. They'll be like, Mukesh lost to me. His friend will be like, I'm going to go to the grave. I'm going to go to the grave. What the fuck? Mukesh lost to me. Which game? Cricket? He was all the money. Politics? Same answer. Which game man? The daydreaming man. He made up a game, won it himself. He dances naked in his own house and wins again Bukesh. Bukesh doesn't even know him. Who knows? This guy will start thinking. You can write anything on your grave. It's your grave. Have fun with it. First of all, why should only successful people leave a message? Right? First you had a good life, you want to preach even after that. Shut the fuck up and be dead. You lived your life properly, now be dead properly. How do you be dead properly? Just shut the fuck up. If you are really successful, we will give you a Google Doogle every year. Every successful person you read the interview, I just want to leave a message. Just leave. Meanwhile, it's your grave. You write anything. Have fun with it. People visit the graveyard, give them a laugh. They look at your grave, you just write, hey, what's up, man? Heaven is real. 
like an asterisk sign. It's like, what does the asterisk say? But it's like mostly mud. <laughs> you go to the next screen, you're right. Hey, hell is also here. What does the asterisk say? I'm the same guy from last screen, just fucking with it. <laughs> Oh, Which one has my body? <laughs> <laughs> really funny. Okay, hilarious. Alright, let's talk about relationships because uh, I have the mic. <laughs> I once had a girlfriend, then she got to know me. <laughs> She didn't leave, she kept saying, I know you. Which for some reason sounds even worse. So I had to dump her. Just to have the one time pleasure of saying, Did you know that? Uh, yeah. Then I cried all night, but who knows that? Relationships are difficult, man. I'm actually, I'm 34 years old now. I know. Keep growing. I'm actually 33, but I say 34. Taki agle saal bhaga chale. You have to do hacks like that. This bar apna birthday ke card wrong. I'll be like, fuck. I'm still 34. Kahi main samay to nahi. But I had my birthday recently, and this is what happened. Like, my girl got mad at me because I was not as excited. As she wanted me to be on my birth, which in some way deeply hurt her feelings, and I was sorry for what I did to her. How did you pull it off? <laughs> How am I walking around at 12 p.m. apologizing for my own birth? <laughs> Look at all these girls clapping. They know they do that shit. <laughs> all girls have two birthdays every year. <laughs> I can't be excited on my birthday. Fucking, I'm, I'm not. I'm old now, man. I'm not 19 happy about life for no reason. <laughs> 19, your brain is wrecked. You ask a 19 year old me, how was your day? I'll be like, amazing. What happened? Won a race. Where? On the highway. Against who? Everybody on the highway. They don't know they were racing against me. I'm old now, man. Plus, look at me, all the wrong body parts are showing positive growth. <laughs> So much hair. You guys can't see it, but like, not just this leg, both of them. <laughs> there is a problem with my body. There is no hair till hair. And then there is a massive increase of hair growth. <laughs> it's like God gave up midway. <laughs> like a weird gardener, who garden ke hi kone pane dalta you just look at him, you have to put him in the pure. You have to We're up and going on downstairs. It's weird, right? Yeah, there's only one benefit. Like, there's a, even mosquitoes can't break it. They're also like, Nai chahiye khon azadi do. I wish there were I know. subtitles or I, I can already, Hindi. I know. can already see the comments. What was wrong with Rick today? And what was wrong with Rick today? Well, I have that every day. Half of half of the time, I didn't know what he was saying. It's not his fault. <clears throat> Can't blame a him, a him for us not knowing the language. Why was that blaming him? Because you're an evil, evil person, Rick. <laughs> for all the stuff I understood. It was pretty darn funny, especially uh, 
it was it was difficult because you know we had the the barrier of it, it not having subs or us not knowing Hindi. Yeah. Um, and so you, you lost us for a few minutes. Well, for it's like, like no, like half the stand up. Well, maybe you. I got most of it. <laughs> really? Not the Hindi parts, but that was well, that's a, no, that's that wasn't half. It it felt it felt like almost like like half of the jokes he did had punchlines that I I didn't understand because he was saying them in Hindi. No, it wasn't half. I'd say a fourth. All right, a, a fourth. A large, a large percentage of it. Yeah, and it, it, that that was unfortunate that we didn't have the subs because I'm sure it was really funny. Um, and you know, once again, not not his fault. No, it's not his fault. Uh, <laughs> we either need to learn Hindi or I need. And that's what I would love. I thought, somebody told me it was mostly in English, and I took that as like there were a few lines that were in Hindi. Right, because we've seen that. There, there's yeah. been some comedians we've seen who they throw in an occasional line that's a punchline. We're like, oh, we didn't get that one. That's okay. But but this was this was by far of any of the stand-up we've seen the most where it was the lines were said in Hindi and we just lost well, the translation. He had a lot of a. Uh, <clears throat> he's a very Irfan Khan style about him. I tell you what, that's my favorite thing about him is that he's extremely just. Yeah. I feel like what you're seeing is what you get. That that's, he's just. <clears throat> He steps on stage and that's who he is. He's like a very natural, just kind of nonchalant mm -hmm. kind of uh, demeanor. Yeah. Which is, you know, something that, you know, it's a it's a style of comedians that right. have that. Um, but it's very Irfan Khanish and to me. Uh, I feel like if he ever did stand up, that's how he would be. He was like, what very, yeah, subdued. What were I doing yesterday? Right. <laughs> yeah, very low key. <clears throat> but yeah, I, it, it, that's the other thing too, is that there were parts of it that were funny. There were a few things that were really laugh out loud funny for me, but like as a whole, it definitely wasn't anywhere near some of the stand-up we've seen as far as the hilarity level for me. Parts of it were, but there then, were some parts. So, like I said, it, I think it has to do with the fact that um, a fourth of it, we were out of it. Yeah, and so like we we have no idea what's going on. Other people are laughing, but you're. It's kind of like the Joker who doesn't get the the actual jokes in your right. <laughs> Which was a great part of that film. <laughs> I loved that film. Um, but yeah, it's I, I would I would like to see more. But if there's um, next time, I want to make sure. So yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that it, either it's all in English uh, or, or there's subs. subs, or we magically learn Hindi really quickly. I want to learn Hindi so bad. Well, do it. Stop being a little <laughs> and learn Hindi, Rick. <laughs> <laughs>